Hello. I uh, said I'd make a video about what I do in the hideout to make money, so here it is. I'm just gonna <clears throat> crack straight into it, so to speak. Um, first things first is the obvious stuff, uh, scav case. Um, I have a full-time job, so I do the moonshine while I'm at, uh... Oh, that's not too bad. Looks pretty good. The fuel conditioner is, uh, pretty nice. Anyway. I do the moonshine, cr uh, scab box while I'm at work, because it's 4 hours and 40 minutes, so it's more time efficient. I do the 6,000 ruble one when I'm at home, because it's the most money efficient that I've had. Uh, I get tier 4 and tier 5 armors from there. I've gotten motors. I've gotten uh, the 40 millimeter shells. It just always pays way above what I get back. So I've just been doing that. Uh, booze generator? It really depends. Um, so right now, booze is on the high side, I would say. Usually it's around 200 to 220,000. So crafting moonshine is is worth it most of the time though I just I just sell purified water um, I put a filter in and I'll just sell the purified water because it's more of a profit than turning the, it into booze but considering booze sells for quite a bit right now um, it's probably still worth it yeah so it's so it's 200,000 to craft if you buy the materials, it's 200,000. Make a bottle of moonshine, and it sells for 240. So that's worth it. It's just, it's not a lot of profit over time. So I don't really consider this one of the big money makers, because it takes ages to craft the materials, and you can't make you can't make sugar for cheap, because a chocolate bar is 17 or 18,000, and um, sugar is 40,000. So you're only saving like 3k by making your own sugar. I, I do the booze. I do the booze craft. I don't consider it a money maker. Med station. There's not really much here that makes money in my opinion. Um, I craft first aid kits because you save a little bit of cash. There's a first aid kit with a first aid kit with max charges, 15,000 ish, and. The materials to craft two IFACs is about 20,000 total. Or 20 to 22,000, sorry. Because these are, no, sorry, 24,000? These are usually 10k a piece, yeah. And then the, the bandages are 2k from Therapist. So it's about 24,000 to craft two IFACs rather than buy two for 30,000. So crafting these is worth it to use them. I don't consider it a source of profit. Uh, one thing to note is, is if you like to use the Golden Star Bomb, which you should because it's the best painkiller in the game. If you have a Golden Star Bomb with 10 charges, use it until it has barely any charges left. And then do this recipe to craft Propitol. The Ibuprofen, a full bottle of Ibuprofen sells for 18k, but you can buy one for, yeah, you can buy one for 15 with barely any charges. Uh, usually the price is lower than this actually, this is pretty high from what I've seen. But 18k for ibuprofen, which is a little much. Um, a low charge golden star bomb is 35k. We'll, we'll say 37 just to be fair. And then two meds is 20,000. So if we round up and just say this is 20,000, this is 40,000, and this is 20,000, that's 80,000 in total. Um, but if you craft, if you craft 7 Propitol, 7 Propitol will sell the therapist for 84,000. So don't think of this as a source of profit, but this is a way for you to recycle your Golden Star Bombs once they've been used, uh, into another Golden Star Bomb. Because you'll, you'll earn, with, with an empty Golden Star, with a 1 out of 10 Golden Star Bomb, you can make 84,000 rubles, and then you can buy... A max golden star bomb for forty-seven to fifty for to fifty thousand rubles. So this is how you can basically pay for your golden star bombs, not profit off of them, but basically use them for free, uh, which is quite nice considering how expensive they are. Moving on, I don't do anything here. 
I don't know if any of this is profitable, but I'm like 99% sure it's not. Uh, condensed milk, no. May mm, maybe. These are 18k a piece. 18k. 18k times 8. That actually might be worth it. I, I honestly, I didn't think the nutrition had any value. So we can do some quick math. Let's do some quick math. What's 18? 18,000 times 8. Okay. So you could make about a $20,000. No, it'd only be like 10. Eight of these sell for about. Eight of these sell for about 144,000. And it costs you 120k for this. And it costs you 14k for this. It's not worth the time. Pre condensed milk. Not worth the time. I, mean, I, uh, I, I, okay, that's not true. I guess that's worth it. There's three condensed milk. It's not worth it. Who am I kidding? It's like 5k. Don't do that. What a waste of, waste of fucking time. Moving on. Bitcoin farm. Self-explanatory. Intelligence. I don't do this. I'm pretty sure it's not worth it. Considering three flash drives is about 180 grand. And all of these combined sell for more than three flash drives. Or a little bit less. But that's assuming a flash drive is 60k. Flash drives are 50k. So yeah. Not worth it. Lavatory. This is where things get interesting. Um, obviously, there's the magazine case. Uh, corrugated hose. I don't do that. Um, the magazine case. Well, it, the magazine case isn't really profitable per se, but it usually it will pay for your fuel. Because a full fuel tank is about what? Uh, what? Like probably 84. Let's see, fucking, fucking rats, dude. Fucking goddamn rats putting up their goddamn empty fuel containers on the market. <sighs> yeah, so anyway, if you can find a full fuel tank. God, what a fucking joke. Anyway, we'll just say 85k. Um, this is 85k, these are usually, yeah, 40k, so it's like 100 and 170, 210, 210 plus 60, so this is like 170k total right now at the current prices, so, and then the mag box will sell for about 318, so it, it is profitable, but I don't think it's worth buying the materials, you're better off just making these as you run out of fuel. Um, what I do is I just craft shampoo because shampoo goes for about 15,000. Um, one soap and one water is about 20,000. And then what I do is I go to the dealers, I go to Ragman, and I trade my shampoo and toothpaste for a full durability AVS. And a full durability AVS, this requires Ragman level 3, by the way. A full durability AVS is actually selling for a shit ton right now. Um, usually it's about 130 to 145,000. Right now they're at 160,000. Um, this is about toothpaste is usually 17 to 18k per bottle, and you need three. Um, shampoo you're crafting for about 10k a bottle, so it's 50,000 in shampoo, and about what is 17 times three, 51. So it's about 100k. Um, I use AVSs, so this is a one-two punch where if I if I craft more than I need, or if I have more than I need, I can sell them, and if I don't, I can I just use them. So this makes about 40k in profit, um, because the price is usually lower than this. Uh, I do this just because I use them, um, so it's usually worth it. And I should actually, let, let's move on. That's that's about all I do in the hideout. 
Uh, I'm gonna move on to. Oh no, sorry, workbench. Um. So. I just do. I just do this. I do the two grenades and the smoke grenade for the eagle gunpowder. Eagle gunpowder sells for sixty-five, sixty-five thousand usually. And at the workbench, you can craft it for two grenades and a smoke grenade. Uh, hand grenades from straight from Peacekeeper are eighty-nine USD, which is about ten grand, we'll say. Uh, so it's about twenty-five k for the materials, and then you craft something that's worth sixty-five k. So it's forty grand. It only takes an hour and a half, hour and forty minutes. That's what I do. Um, I know people like doing the ammo crafts. But all of the ammo crafts take two plus hours, which I personally don't think is worth it. Or it's or it's the same amount of profit. Like for instance, 140 rounds of M95 sells for 184,000 or something. If the market price is about 1,300 rubles, um, so this is 65k, and the 40 millimeter 40 millimeter shells are 50k. So you're making about 70k in profit, which is quite a bit of profit, but it's also taking you two hours and 26 minutes to craft it. So per hour, it's it's pretty much the same as this, it, a little bit less. Um, I would do the I would do the M90 uh, M995 craft if you're going to work, if you don't want to micromanage it as much. But I think per hour, this will give you more. Um, also, I don't think. It is profit. It's definitely not profitable per hour to craft your own gunpowder and then craft this. I mean, I, I guess it is, but you're basically waiting for you're, you're waiting in like four hours before you actually start making money because you spend an hour and forty minutes crafting this, and then you spend two and a half hours making this. This just buying these ingredients is a seventy k profit. I guess you. It, it, waiting for this to finish i i, I i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do the math because that's some fucking money over time shit that i don't want to deal with but i don't see how adding an extra hour and 40 minutes makes up for that forty thousand profit from doing this because you're just losing money by not starting this craft immediately so i would choose either or um i usually do this one but i honestly might swap to this one because this means less time spent checking the workbench. But I already checked my lavatory for the shampoo craft, which only takes 30 minutes. So I usually check that after every raid anyway. So it's not a big deal for me. But maybe you guys play the game differently. You can do what you want and make your profit your way. Okay, moving on. I'm going to talk about the trader deals I do. I actually have a little notepad set up for this. Uh... Shit, where's my notepad? Uh, desktop. Tarkov. Okay, so let's just start from what I have on my list. Not mechanic. Uh, Ragman. Um, this is a barter deal that you can do, but I don't. Two anti-fragmentation glasses are about 10k total. And these will sell for 20k. So if you're really just trying to milk every penny, you can sell Untar helmets by trading anti fragmentation glasses. Um, I usually do this deal where you buy a Ronin with these items, and then you can turn, you can flip the Ronin uh, for about 130,000. Someone's doing a big undercut. Anyway, um,. Most of these are pretty cheap. The screwdriver is dirt cheap. Wrenches, the 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 how profitable this is will depend on the wrench price. Sometimes sometimes wrenches are super cheap. Sometimes they're like eight k. So like right now they're only six grand a piece or seven grand a piece. So five of these will only run you thirty k. So it's thirty k for this. It's forty k for the scissors, and it's about like seven k for the screwdrivers. So. We'll say 35k for this. So it's about... What does that math come out to? Uh, like 80k? So it's about 80,000 for this stuff total. Around that. And then you can sell... You can flip the Ronin helmet for 130. Nice little 50,000 50, 50, rule profit. 
and these don't sound like big numbers, but you have to remember that this, the, the, like you, you, be, you would be doing this every now and then, and this would stack up like exponentially the more you do it. So like you'd get forty thousand from the AVS barter, you'd get fifty thousand from the Ronin barter, you'd get forty thousand from the Eagle trade. Like all these little things, like you're making like 500, 400, 500 K every three hours just for doing like nothing basically besides right clicking and filtering by item. Okay, moving on. Uh, AVS trade, I already talked about that. Okay, moving on to Purport. This requires you to have loyalty level four. I don't know. I, I'm only loyalty level three with Ragman. Oh. There is a loyalty level 4 Ragman barter for the TacTech 5.11 plate carrier that only requires its 6 chainlets and 1 vase. That trade will make you about 40k as well because chainlets are super cheap and uh, a vase is only like 50k and a fully a full durability TacTech plate carrier will make you about 140,000 ish same as an AVS. Anyway, on to Purpur, um, there's probably some sort of deal in here that I don't know about, but I looked at most of the magazines and I couldn't really find a good deal. But what I do know is a good deal is this raid backpack. Military cables sell for about thirty to thirty-five thousand. This raid backpack sells for hundred a hundred thousand usually, so this is an easy forty to thirty thousand uh, rubles in profit, and it's a really simple trade. You just buy two military cables off the flea market and trade with Purpur. All right, moving on to Peacekeeper. This is where I make most of my dollars. I have done the quests for M61 and M62 rounds. Uh, M61s you can buy for 10 bucks and tr uh, sell them on the flea market. I sell them for 12 USD. So it's just a little, I, I, I pay for the market tax, but it's a net gain in terms of USD. Um, so, and since I don't, I use M62 mostly because it's a more budget friendly round. Um, then there is the Magpul P Mag, uh, which costs an air filter. Magpul P Mags sell for thirty-five to forty thousand. It's usually around forty thousand. Someone put a big undercut right here, which is uh, fucking everybody else. Anyway, usually these are about forty thousand, and an air filter is eighteen to twenty. So you'll make um, twenty thousand, fifteen to twenty thousand profit on these, and you can buy four at a time. So that's actually a nice little chunk of change. Moving on with Peacekeeper. Uh, I can't remember if there was another mag I did. I don't believe so. Shift angle grips. These are great. Um, you buy them for 160. You can sell them for 220 to 230 USD. I love doing this flip because I use 762 by 51 rounds, which costs USD. So this trade basically pays for all of my ammo and my raids. Uh, it's also why I'm sitting on like $3 million in USD. Uh, another one, sometimes people like the market barons will buy out certain attachments from Peacekeeper and make them absurd. Um, so y these these are profitable. Like you could buy this at 124 and sell it for like 154 and that's you're making your money back. Um, it's just it's just kind of, it's it's a little risky to try doing like these attachment grabs that aren't set in stone or aren't don't have like a set market market price by the community. Because they're, they're, they fluctuate so much. So I usually just don't bother because it's way too much micromanaging. The ones that I do sell the same every time. No big deal. And I just do it quick and dirty. Finish them up. Uh, let's see what this is at. The Delta Point Reflex site is the site that's used in the Hammer. The Hammer ACOG. And a lot of people basically exclusively use the Hammer. So this site is quite popular. Um, the Red Dot will usually sell for 140, like 140 plus. Um, so it's almost always profitable to buy four of these and sell them, and just undercut whoever whoever's there. I always click back. I should just click dealer. Moving on from the Leopold. Most of this other stuff isn't worth it. I know Canted Canted sites had a little little spike, but that's back down. Moving on to my guaranteed ones that I do at least. Um, this one is pretty good. Uh, whiskey is around forty thousand rubles usually, or less. Most times it's less. 
Um, it's like usually 35. So for 35,000 rubles, this is like 105,000. But all the parts combined, even if you sell them just to traders, will actually give you a net profit. And if you sell the laser sight, if you sell the laser sight, the scope, and the, uh, if you sell the laser sight, the scope, the stock, and the ammo, the, it comes with M855 ammo in the magazine. If you sell all of those individually and then sell everything else to skier and mechanic, you should come out with about twenty to thirty thousand dollars in profit. So I like doing that one. Okay. Uh this is probably this is probably the best barter in the game that nobody knows about. Um, well actually plenty of people know about it, but uh, not enough to make it sell out instantly. You can trade eight USB adapters for an M1A. And USB adapters, um, they're going up in price gradually because more and more people are figuring figuring out this tra this barter. But they go they usually fluctuate from two thousand to four thousand. So eight USBs, even at four thousand rubles a piece, that's thirty two thousand rubles for an M one A, which I would like to point out to the people watching this video, is cheaper than a Vepper Hunter. So you can get a stock M one A for cheaper than a uh Type cheaper. So a Vepper Hunter, where is it? Vepper Hunter is going for thirty four thousand. So you can get you can get an M one A. This guy doesn't even have a fucking dust cover on his Vepper. What the hell? An M one A has eighty less recoil, or eight. I should say, yeah, eighty less. Yeah, we'll say less. Of a uh, stock M one A has eighty less recoil than this. Already comes with a front sight or a front rail, and it comes with a twenty round magazine, and it's more accurate. And it's cheaper. That This is like, it is one of the best deals in the game. Which is why it sells out all the time. <clears throat> it's also why I have a million of them. Because it's one of my favorite guns. And it's cheap as shit. So, yeah. Anyway. Moving on. You can buy these and sell them for 50k if you want to. Uh, which is what the M1A usually goes for. Let's see here. Yep, 50k, as usual. Nothing changed there. Moving on. I buy these Cry Airframe Chops for one GPX. Uh, broken G G Phone X is around 25,000. The mandibles will sell anywhere from 45 to 55,000. Uh, let's see here. Phone. At yeah, twenty three thousand, so twenty five thousand. I would say twenty five. So it costs you seventy five, but you make one hundred and fifty. Um, and you can buy three at a time. So I usually buy three of those, sell them. You can see them in my inventory right now. And that is pretty much all I do for Peacekeeper. Um, that's the only ones I know of. Most of the time, like nine out of ten times, if you can buy something just straight up with dollars, it's usually not worth the trade. Like most of the time, they sell for around the same. Like you make a, you make a hundred USD here if you want. Like some of these things, if if you're pinching pennies, like these deals are still worth it. But I, I'm not I'm I'm not gonna bother buying everything to sell it for an extra like fifty USD. Unless, like I I'm looking at like the percentage difference between the prices, not like the actual dollar amount. Is like none of these really sell for they all sell for like around the same okay now to finish it off with Jaeger you can barter for a Reaper IR site with 10 helixes uh, this trades not worth it because sugar is expensive as fuck um, but anyway helixes which I have in my scab junk box Helixes are usually around fifteen to 17,000, and you need 10 of them. So if you get lucky and you get them on the low end, I'm just going to fucking buy these. God damn it. Oh, oh, oh man, someone else is watching the, someone's watched the video before it even came out. Oh, I didn't press it fast enough. Okay, whatever, Jesus Christ. 
you get the point. You can usually get your helixes for around 15k. You can sell the Reaper IR for about 200, so that's a 50k profit. So all in all, you can make a fuck ton of money just by. I make I I don't know I don't know the exact numbers. I've never added it up, but it's 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 a good amount of cash. It's it's a lot of money. Just I do this I do this I don't do this all the time just because it's a little tedious and if your things don't sell right away you can't get it all done uh quickly. But yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys uh use these tips until the next wipe. Uh and as always, don't tell anybody else. Oh, and uh, if anybody has any better deals and thinks I'm stupid and wants to tell me how their deals are so much better, feel free to in the comments.